So the fuel system's all done, leak free, working. Had to get over one problem that I screwed up. Stupid uh, problem that I actually knew about soon after I finished fabricating it and getting it all done. I realized I did something really dumb, like Engineering 101. These threaded fasteners are blind holed into the tank. Clearly they're gonna leak through the threads. First I thought it was gonna be fancy, and I machined an O-ring groove around the whole cover, which I had planned to do anyway. Uh, and then attempted to just seal the threads with a E85 specialized sealer. Didn't do it, because obviously it's not a pipe thread, it's a straight thread. And I tried O-ring bolts, just that. That didn't do it. So I ended up having to, it's kind of ugly, but I had to cut this gasket a little bigger than the cover. And so, because an O-ring only seals one side or the other, this seals both sides simultaneously, and then machined a little flat surface under this head, and then there's an O-ring actually between this head and the, and the plate. That solved the problem. I actually thought I was going to have to redo the whole thing. Um, this is kind of latch, just latch last ditch effort to solve the problem, and it's good to go. It's been pressurized. Everything's all good. Um, and obviously, I'll probably design another one and get it fabbed up over the coming weeks or months or whatever, so I can swap out eventually because this may leak at some point. But so far, I've pressurized it, no problems, no leaks. Let it run for like an hour, just the fuel pump's all cranked up. And the other funny thing I did that set me kind of back, and you may be able to see how this tab is now bent. And you can probably kind of tell, eh, you can't really tell in the video, but th this surface right here is actually bowed out a little bit now. So this tank should have zero pressure. It's just a surge tank. So this factory tank fills this. There's a return line that goes back to the tank and it never builds any pressure. And then all the big pumps are in here so they can't starve and all that good stuff. Well, I'm an idiot and didn't realize because my 911 I built had a return style fuel system with all the same lines and everything. I assumed this was the same. Turns out the return line was actually the EVAP line, so I wasn't getting a return. Um, I realized this actually when I went to wire up and plumb the EVAP system, realized there was no EVAP system. Clearly that can't happen. So trying to find the EVAP line, I realized that the EVAP line was the return line. Anyway, because of that, the main fuel pump, there's a regulator in the tank set at the motor. And so this thing filled up, it's like 70 PSI, 100 PSI, because I had no return at all. And uh, it obviously ballooned. And so it looks like a rectangle tank. It actually didn't bend, I, I bent it back a bit, but you can tell because of this bent bracket, the back of this is ballooned out. It actually pushed the whole tank forward. Luckily, like I said, you can't really see it. I mean, it's, when it's off and it's sitting on a bench, you can see it, but in the car, you can't really, because there's really no flat surfaces to compare it to. But um, anyway, so that was two dumb things I did. Uh, all the problems I think are solved now. Car idles and runs perfect. No fuel leaks. Um, surge tank seems to be doing its job but I'll probably just build another one because this one's not square anymore. And then also, like I said, this was just a stupid, stupid design. So I'm going to build it to where the uh, bolts are obviously on the outside of the flange. Uh, maybe I'll make the plate, the mounting plate here a little thicker and just do blind holes so it still has the same look. But anyway, so that's where we're at. Uh, with any luck, car will be on the ground this weekend.